Hello again and welcome. It's time for another edition of Freezer Treats, 13 Days of Halloween. Hello everyone, this is Jeff Adams from the Icebox Radio Theater, and this is our short-form podcast where we introduce you, or remind you, of a wonderful play from the archives from the deep freeze of the Icebox Radio Theater. We, of course, were founded way back in 2004. We've been producing new audio theater ever since, and right now we're in the middle of a run of 13 days of Halloween from the 13th of October right through the 29th, that's the uh, the Friday before the holiday weekend. We'll be featuring one scary story for you to check out. And as we always mention, if you go to the uh, show notes of this episode, you can find not only a uh, not only a link to the play that we're featuring today, but a link to the podcast on which that play appears. And today we're going to be going back to Mystery on the Air, a uh, experiment from a couple of years ago here at the IBRT, where we actually tried a whole podcast just made up of classic horror and suspense stories, brand new adaptations. And today, this is uh, this might have been the best one we ever did during that series. It is, of course, the classic H.P. Lovecraft tale, The Call of Cthulhu, which I, I don't. I think that's the story that introduced a lot of us, me included, into Lovecraft, into what the Lovecraft mythos is all about. We took some liberties with the story, which you almost have to with H.P., uh, but we hope you enjoy it very, very much. If you don't know anything about the story, it is basically the tale of a man whose great uncle bestowed to him a collection of papers uh, with instructions to burn them and never read them. And of course, his curiosity was piqued, and this led him to uh, discover a worldwide cult like paranormal, uh, what would you call it, event that was coming to unleash elder gods on the world. Here now is a scene from uh, the Icebox Radio Theater's adaptation of The Call of Cthulhu. March 22nd. The trouble begins. At latitude 48 degrees, 51 minutes south, longitude 128 degrees, 34 minutes west, we encounter a ship. A yacht, which has been fitted with several guns. She is very well armed for a vessel her size. Too well armed. Without warning, the yacht fires on us. We are not equipped for battle, so we take heavy damage. The ship is sinking, so Captain Collins orders us to steam toward the other vessel and board her. As we approach, the crew of the other vessel crowd their rail and scream at us in many languages. They are dirty, violent, insane. They brandish clubs and threaten us. Some of them are stark naked, like savages in the jungle. As we approach it becomes obvious they want us to turn back, but our damage from their own cannon has made this impossible. We board the ship, and the battle ensues. The crew of the yacht refused to surrender. They fought to the last man. They fought to their last drop of blood. They did not fight like men, but like animals. They all perish, and among our number, Captain Collins and First Mate Green are dead also, along with one other. We are now eight men. With the Captain and First Mate gone, I am in command of this commandeered vessel, which I learn is called the Alert. I have heard of this ship. She was well known and well feared in these waters as a ship and crew that would trade in anything, including slaves. We search her stem to stern. She is ill-kept and filthy, bones from raw meat, apparently the crew's only food are everywhere. Some of the bones look human, possibly, and among the effects we find a small statue kept in a wooden box made with skill and care. This statue, it is strange, like a little god with a head like an elephant and tentacles like an octopus on its mouth. It should be ridiculous, but something about the sight of it revolts me. I have never seen its like before. But it is still familiar somehow, like from a nightmare. It is as if a memory from a dream awakens in my own brain and says, Stay away. We put the statue away out of sight, and that helps a little. Our ship is sunk. Our captain is dead. The log on the alert bridge indicates something located at... Latitude 47 degrees 9 minutes south, longitude 126 degrees 43 minutes west. The chart shows nothing there but open water, 
but the location was on the MS heading when the alert and its beastly crew engaged us. They did not want us to go there and were willing to die to prevent it. So in honor of our fallen comrades, especially Captain Collins, we set a course and head straight to that spot. What will they find? You'll just have to follow the links to find out. That is a scene uh, from the third act of our adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's classic tale, The Call of Cthulhu. And once again, a link directly to that play, as well as the podcast in which it appears, which is titled Mystery on the Air, are available below. Check out the podcast this Halloween season. Not only do we have uh, that story by Lovecraft, we also have a, a brand new original adaptation of the Dunwich Horror and the music of Eric Zahn. And I'll be back tomorrow with another spooky season freezer treat on this Freezer Treats 13 Days of Halloween. Halloween.